Happy Massage Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you another neck massage video. So if you saw our previous one, Brett was sitting down and I was massaging his neck. But obviously when you're sitting, you're having to hold your head up and utilizing those neck muscles. So this one I will be showing with Brett laying on the bed face up so that his head and his neck are relaxed and you can get in a little bit deeper. If there are any other videos anyone is hoping to watch or see, please let us know. We're happy to keep throwing out content that will be applicable for you guys while you're locked down to give you a little bit of self-care since you can't go in for massage at the spa at the moment. So first you might want to try setting the room a little bit. So dim the lights and draw curtains. You can light a candle or use a rock salt lamp. Throw some essential oils in a diffuser or you can even use it for the massage. And then I like to use either coconut oil or grapeseed oil for the massage, but you can use anything else. Just know if you use something like olive oil, it is going to smell like olive oil. So you don't need too much. All right, so now I'm just going to get the pecs and the neck. So I'll use my fingers to just spread those pec muscles apart and just know if you are massaging a woman you know we even though we have breasts we also have pecs so you just want to be a little bit you know above the breast area but you can still get in so here we've got his collarbone so you can get into the areas right over here so basically if she has a blanket that's covering her you'll want to massage the area that's outside the blanket. And then I'm going to now use my fingers to massage along the occipital ridge. So Brett, I'll just have you turn your head for a second. So here for the occipital ridge, we've got your skull right here. And then right when the skull ends and the neck muscles attach, that is called your occipital ridge. So I'm just going to use my fingers to just kind of scoop that area. So. As you can see here, I'm using mostly my middle finger to just massage along that occipital ridge. So I'm just right under the bone. And then you'll have their head up. This feels really great for anyone who has neck soreness. And then, you know, your thumb will obviously be separate. So you can kind of have your thumb massage along a little bit, but most of the pressure is going to be on those fingers that are underneath that occipital ridge. So that's a really great technique. And then we can also use our fingers to kind of pinch along. And then we can also use our fingers to massage upwards along the muscle fibers up towards the occipital ridge. Now, if you're feeling like you wanna get a little bit deeper and it doesn't feel like you can with your fingers, you can always try fists. So I just use my fists upwards. You don't need to go too far, so you don't need to go all the way here to the shoulder bones. You can just start right here from the middle and then just upwards. Just keep it nice and easy. Now remember that he's got you know the spine part of his neck back in the middle. So you don't want your fist to go all the way to the middle to push against the spine. So we're just doing it here to the sides. You can see I'm not having to move the camera at all for you to see it. You can actually see exactly where my fist is. So I'm not really underneath the neck too far. And then if I'm going to go under the neck, I'll just use my hands to scoop in. And then just finish off with a nice little scalp massage. So we've got the temples right over here. So it feels really nice using the thumbs on the temples, but you don't wanna to do too much pressure. And then, you know, just use your fingers to get into the scalp. This is another area like the feet that we're pretty used to massaging other people. So you'll know where to go and what to do. You can do it a little bit like you're shampooing someone's hair.
If you found this video helpful at all, or if there's anything else that you'd like to see or have something explained a little bit better, please comment below or just send us a DM. We want to give you the best content while you're at home during this quarantine time to not only learn these new skills, but also just be able to have a little bit of self-care at home. So just let us know.